Hey guys, Spartan Jess here. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to clarify and update you guys on a couple of things. If you don't want to hear it, then skip to this timestamp. So first, I wanted to apologize for the lack of updates in the last, what, six months? And good god, that's, that's a long time not to upload anything. The reason why I haven't been so active on the channel is because recently I gained a new job, and ever since it's been hard for me to find time for myself and record and edit videos for you guys. And with this whole pandemic going on right now, which, by the way, I hope everyone watching is okay and taking care of yourselves during these hard times, but with this global event going on, it's affecting everyone around me and it's also affected myself. And now that I'm home for a bit, I'll try to edit and create some videos for you guys. Unfortunately, I won't be posting the Needler tutorial anytime soon, and yes, I know, a lot of you guys are very anxious and excited to see it, but at the moment I don't have all the parts that I need to complete the tutorial. I hope you guys understand, and don't worry though, I still plan on doing the conversion in the future. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the reason why you guys are watching the video. Hey guys, Spartan Jess here, and today we're going to try to continue our experiment to see how EVA foam can last to airsoft. And today, instead of using a regular sheet of uh, EVA foam that you that uh, cosplayers would usually use, um, we're going to be using EVA foam with kind of like a carpet surface on the top of it. Now the theory is, airsoft maybe shouldn't be able to go through cloth or any kind of material like that. If it does, then your airsoft gun is no longer an airsoft gun, right? So with the idea of like a carpet surface EVA foam pad, let's see if BBs will go through this kind of EVA foam while shooting at it from different kind of distances. Now, just to be clear, I don't really recommend you guys um, building EVA foam helmets for airsoft purposes. That's not really safe. Uh, if you guys plan to, just make sure to wear safety goggles or glasses under them. All right, so just like last time I posted the video about EVA foam surviving airsoft, we're gonna be doing 100 feet, 50 feet, 25 feet, and then we're gonna to go to the five foot mark. All right, so let's test to see how well this is at 100 feet. Now, this video wouldn't be really right if I had a Halo assault rifle, if this perspective wasn't in first person view. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so is there any hit marks at all? Honestly, I don't see any. That's a good sign somewhere. Let's go check at the 50 feet mark. Now let's see how durable it is here. All right, let's go check it out. Now we're testing at the 25 foot mark. Let's see how well this EVA foam lasts from this distance. Oh God, the ricochet. Oh God, it's raining babies. Reloading. see pretty choppy cuts right there during the reload process. It's not my fault. I'm reloading behind a camera. Just about as close as you'll ever get in an airsoft battle per se. So without any further ado, let's enjoy me getting ricocheted to death by a bunch of airsoft BBs. Oh God. All right, let's check. There are no BBs whatsoever inside of this EVA foam. 
from the same distances that we did from the last video we did years ago. So yeah, this goes to show that uh, carpet style EVA foam is very good for airsoft purposes. The kind of carpet material that's going to be on the EVA foam, you're going to want to try to get the tough kind, if that makes any sense. Uh, not, you know, the soft kind of carpet that you want. You know, it's on the floor of your living room if you are too cheap to get carpet and instead you have EVA foam. I don't know, just a thought. And just for you guys, sick viewing pleasure, I'm going to spray this EVA foam pad down from this distance. This isn't five feet anymore, this is like two and a half feet. So, it, this is just about as close as you're ever going to get in an airsoft battle. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I do not recommend doing this at home, children. Don't spray yourself or the EVA foam that can ricochet BBs right back at you without safety glasses, please. Or just don't do it at all, you know? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? 32 BBs, this is gonna suck. Okay, it's not true pain. Ah! I got one in my ear. That sucks. <laughs> okay, last six shots. Take the face off. Whew. You know, that actually wasn't that bad because of the ricochet. The, uh, the BB impact doesn't really hurt that much. But man, is that scary. And there you guys have it. That's how well carpet EVA foam is durable against airsoft guns. Now the kind of airsoft gun I'm using, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know that this is the homemade airsoft assault rifle that I built, converting a Boomco gun with a UAR version two. And the UAR version two shoots at about 300 or 350 FPS, just about your regular standards for an airsoft gun in close quarters, around 300, 400 FPS. So as you can see, there are no BBs inside of this carpet EVA foam whatsoever. Now, obviously, make sure to use the side with the carpet. If you use the other side, that's not the carpet. I'll shoot from this distance and maybe you guys can have another chuckle if it ricochets on me. As you can see, the side without the carpet gets indents in it. And that was a pretty good impact, not gonna lie, from that close of a distance, but I still wouldn't recommend using the super soft side of EVA foam as protection against airsoft and you know airsoft battles, especially in close quarters. And honestly, I hope you guys are being safe during this pandemic. And since I'm at home, I'm able to do stuff like this. And ever since I got my new job, I've been very busy. And I apologize for the lack of uploads recently, just because of that reason. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is truly combatable. I'll see you next time.